Hey guys, in this video I wanted to go over how to do hippocampal subfield segmentation in FreeSurfer version 6.0. So I, a couple months ago, made a video about hippocampal subfield segmentation for the older version of FreeSurfer, which was FreeSurfer 5.3, and that's the first version that introduced hippocampal subfield segmentation. In the video I talk about how they were going to update it soon with FreeSurfer 6.0, but at that time the newer version was not made available. So this is just kind of like an update video and I do recommend that if you're watching the video now that you do update your FreeSurfer version at least for hippocampal subfield segmentation because this one is more accurate and what you have to do for the 6.0 version is a little bit different from the 5.3 version so I'm gonna go over that in this video although it's not that much more work than the older version and I will put a link to this particular uh, FreeSurfer page so you can follow along I'm basically just gonna go along with this tutorial page uh, in this video. This first part is basically comparing FreeSurfer 6.0 to the 5.3 version for the subfield segmentation. It says basically that this newer version is a lot more accurate and it's better to get the correct volumes uh, if you're going to do a numeric analysis with the data. With this newer version, you can also use an additional scan with when you're segmenting the subfields. So if you have one T1 weighted image. You can also add a T2, it says, although it doesn't necessarily have to be a T2. It can just be any additional scan, and you can include that with the flag for running this hippocampal subfield segmentation. So if you have a T1 and a T2, you can use both those images and it will end up more accurate. Or even if you just have two T1s, but one is maybe more high resolution of the hippocampus, you can use that as well. Or if you just have a T1, you can still run this uh, with with just that one image as well. So that's what I'm going to demo in this video. And okay, so the second difference is that for the 6.0 version, you do need to have what's called the MATLAB R2012 runtime. So downloading the runtime is free. And if you click this page, it will give you a whole explanation of how to download this particular runtime. If you have any other version of MATLAB, it does have to be this particular 2012B version. So so if you already have MATLAB, you still do have to download this, but it's very quick and it's free and it explains how to do it uh, in the command line in that page, but that is something that this version uses. Okay, so let me go now to actually demoing it. So there's a mode A and a mode B. So the mode B is if you want to include additional scans with the segmentation. So if you have a T1 and a T2, you would do mode B, or if you have a T1 and a higher resolution T2, or a higher resolution T1, as the additional scan, you can read this mode B section to figure out how to run the hippocampal subfields using the additional scans. I'm just going to do this one. So this will produce uh, six output files and you either run this line or this line depending on if your subject has already gone through the auto recon pre-processing stages. So if you have a subject and you haven't done any analysis on them at all, you're going to include the recon all and then the additional all flag. So it will run through everything, recon, auto recon one, two, and three, and then it will do the hippocampal subfield segmentation in addition to that. For me, I'm going to use the second line because I have subjects in my subjects folder that I have already processed or pre-processed. So I'm just going to run an additional processing for the hippocampal subfields. And actually I did that already, but I will show you again. So this is my subjects folder and I have this subject folder called TYR 3T 1mm MP2. So that's a one millimeter MP2 rage. So that already has been run with auto recon all, all. And I actually already did run the hippocampal subfield, but I'll just show you what it would be. So you do recon all, like it says, and then S for the name of the subjects folder. So I'm gonna put in the name of the folder as it's seen in my subjects folder. So that's capital TYR 3T 1MM MP2 for me. And then you just add the additional flag, which is hippocampal 
hippocampal subfields T1. So this does not run in the normal recon all all. You have to specifically flag for it to run hippocampal subfields T1. If I clicked enter, then that would run. So let me show you the recon all log because I already ran that. So if I go to scripts, recon all log, it will show that it finished without error. I did this earlier today. It took about 36 minutes. I think from what I remember, the free surfer 5.3 version took about 20 minutes. So it's not that much more difference in time. It's pretty quick to run it. So 30 minutes is not that long. And and um, this version, again, is supposedly more accurate to use. Okay, so once that's done running, it will change your MRI folder in your subjects folder. So if I go to my MRI folder and I look at the last files created, it creates these six files, three for the left hemisphere and three for the right. And it also says down here that you can view what it's considering the different subfields. So if you want to kind of look at whether it looks accurate or not, you can look at it through a uh, Preview. To use this command, you have to, when you open your terminal window, you have to first cc to your subject's MRI directory. So I already did that as well in another window. So let me see if I have that. So here I cd'd to this MRI folder in the terminal window, and then you just copy and paste this command exactly as you see it, and that will open up Freeview. So I have this open already. This is what it will look like. So on my particular subject, this is how the hippocampal subfields look. So it does look a little bit different from the 5.3 version. Let me see if I can scroll through there. And that's what it looks like and you can read what the labels are on the left hand side and another thing that this does is give you numeric data that you can look at with this little bash script so you have to read this and the script what you have to type in depends on whether you use mode A or mode B so I did that as well here for me all I had to do was put in T1 if you do mode B you have to do T1 dash and then this style of um, analysis that you used and then you put in the name of what you want the output file to be. So the output file could be a text file. So I just named it hippotest.txt. And I have already set my subject directory in the terminal window when I open it. So I didn't have to add anything else. If you do that, it will produce an output file that has the volumetric data. So let me show you what it produced. Okay, so that has all the data smushed together. And if you import that into an Excel sheet, it will just be values separated by spaces. So text file, import the hippo test, and then I did separate it by spaces, and that will give you the values for the left and right subfields and also the total hippocampal volumes for your data. All right, so I kind of, I wanted to compare the same file running five point, the 5.3 version and the 6.0 version, but I honestly don't have the 5.3 version downloaded on my computer anymore, and I was too lazy to download it again just for the video. But based on what it says in the webpage, I would use the 6.0 version. So if you're looking in my neuroimaging playlist and you see this video, I would use this updated version rather than the older version. And I'll try to make a note of that in the older video as well to use this one. Anyway, that's it for this video and thank you guys for watching.